Did you know that Canada, as a country, has more lakes compared to people in some regions of its territory? Surprising, right? As the largest country in the world, second only to Russia, and the country with the largest number of lakes in the world, Canada contains more than 2 million lakes of all sizes. When you compare 2 million to some provinces in Canada that have a total population of just about 540,000 people, you get my point. There is even a joke that some provinces have three times as many moose as they have people, indicating that some territories are sparsely populated. Meanwhile, some provinces have a population of over 10 million people. So why the huge difference in the number of people residing in these regions? The answer to that question can be obvious or subtle based on several factors, and that is not the purpose of today's video. Well, in today's video, we will be looking at all 10 provinces in Canada and ranking them from worst to best based on several factors like their economy, safety, cost of living, education, and quality of life. That is enough talking. Let us begin. Number 10. Prince Edward Island Prince Edward Island is a small province situated along the eastern coastline of Canada. This province is famous for its charming rural atmosphere as well as beautiful beaches. It is the smallest province in terms of land area and people yet its economy is dominated by agriculture and tourism. Events are conducted throughout the year, from confederation celebrations to contemporary fun races to music festivals and tasting local seafood. Prince Edward Island offers a very laid-back lifestyle. It's a slow pace with beautiful beaches, vibrant music and art scene with tons of seafood and a very low crime rate. There has been an influx of people from expensive urban areas attracted by the relaxed attitude of this place, especially those that practice freelance careers. Wherefore, these sectors offer the major economic avenues in the area, making it have the second highest unemployment rate of 10.6% and one of the lowest median household incomes at 89,000. Although it has beautiful landscapes and a strong sense of community, its cost of living is high and its reliance on seasonal services, such as tourism, does not create regular employment and economic opportunities. Number 9. Newfoundland and Labrador Newfoundland and Labrador is located at the east coast of Canada. It is known for its natural beauty and incredible friendliness people. The county has a rich history with a strong emphasis on fishing and the sea, however. The suburban lifestyle in Newfoundland and Labrador ranks as the fourth most satisfying in Canada. Despite the very limited sunlight and harsh weather, the province and Canadian provinces of the most geographically unconnected from foggy terrain to utter isolation, this province is not for the faint of heart. One of its cities, St. John, is commonly ranked as having one of the worst weather of any city in Canada. Ironically, St. Louis John's, it's the most charming and exclusive town in the country. Neighbors have almost started trying to outdo each other as to who can have it most colorful home, and so went crazy with pastel paint. It was a good thing the rooms were so bright and colorful because these can lift the spirit. Even on the stormiest day, if your spirits are not lifted, George Street certainly will because it has the most bars and clubs located on every street in North America. The cost of living in Newfoundland and Labrador is very high. Due to the geographical isolation and rugged terrain, the need for boat travel and long navigation routes can make transportation become more expensive, and this in turn will affect the price of imports. Number 8. Nova Scotia Nova Scotia is at the eastern coast of Canada. It is almost an island. It has a little patch of land that connects it to New Brunswick. It's known for its scenic beauty, which includes its global well-known Cabot Trail. Nova Scotia is Latin for New Scotland, and most of the populace are local English speakers, and the province population is simply beneath 1 million residents. With low property expenses and a tranquil environment, this East Coast province is right for plenty immigrants. Nova Scotia is green and clean, and has a low crime rate. Nova Scotia is big on fishing, agriculture, forestry, and production. Immigrants with a background in agriculture can flourish right here. It is likewise best for specialists who can work remotely. Many Canadians create a huge retirement fund to live the older days amidst the splendor of this province. 
Halifax is the top city to stay here, and residents receive a blend of city and rural lifestyle. With a comparatively low cost of living, this location is perfect for settling down. Number 7. New Brunswick New Brunswick is this chill province on the east coast of Canada that's got it all. Beautiful scenery, a relaxed vibe, and the kind of affordable living that makes you feel right at home. It's perfect for retirement or just taking a break from the hustle and bustle of city life. Plus, with no mega cities, you can really appreciate the natural beauty all around you. The major industries here are forestry, manufacturing, and tourism. Now, don't get me wrong, they're doing okay, but they do face some challenges like demographic changes and slower economic growth. There aren't a ton of job opportunities, but hey, you're here for the laid-back lifestyle, right? One thing to keep in mind is that New Brunswick doesn't have any big, vibrant cities. The economy can be a bit lackluster, too, with the lowest minimum wage and median household income in the country. But hey, at least the cost of living and housing prices are pretty affordable, right? And the poverty rate is actually pretty low compared to other provinces. The coastline is just stunning, and the cities have a rich history that's really interesting to explore. All in all, New Brunswick is a hidden gem that's perfect for those looking for a peaceful, nature-filled escape. Just remember, if you plan on moving here, it's a good idea to brush up on your French, because it's the only officially bilingual province in the country. So, you know, learn a new language, make some new friends, and enjoy your time in this beautiful place. Number 6. Manitoba Manitoba is often called the Keystone Province because it's right in the middle of Canada, like a keystone holds an arch together. Manitoba is smack dab in the center of the country, and it's got all kinds of landscapes. In the south, there's prairies. In the north, there's forests. And all over the place are rivers and lakes. This province is famous for its natural beauty, and there's plenty to do outside. If you're into outdoor adventures, Manitoba's got you covered. It's got some of the best fishing and hunting in all of Canada. There's tons of wildlife, gorgeous scenery, and it's all pretty affordable too. The cost of living here is low, and the people are super friendly. Plus, the economy here is pretty diverse, with agriculture, manufacturing, and mining all being big deals. The economy here is pretty diverse, with big sectors like agriculture, manufacturing, and mining. It's also home to the lowest unemployment rate in the whole country, only 5.7%. But even though it's got a median home value of just three thirteen thousand dollars Manitoba still has the third highest poverty rate in the country at 11.5%. The Number 5. Quebec Quebec is huge, and it is the biggest province in terms of size. It is well known for making maple syrup, having super-friendly people, and having a really cool culture. It's one of the best provinces to live in Canada because there's always something fun to do. It's not too expensive to live there compared to other places like Ontario and British Columbia, and there's a lot of French influence in the language and stuff. The economy in Quebec is pretty diverse, and the unemployment rate is pretty low. People tend to live a long and happy life there too, with the highest average life expectancy and the third highest life satisfaction rate. Even though the median household income of $94,000 is only the fifth highest, the cost of living is also affordable. Healthcare and transportation are top-notch in Quebec, making it an excellent place to raise a family on a budget. Montreal and Quebec City are the two biggest cities, and they've got a pretty good tech scene going on, especially in Montreal right now. Even though the cities can be busy and fast-paced at times, People also really like to take it easy and enjoy life at a more laid-back pace. Number 4. Saskatchewan Securing the fourth spot is Saskatchewan. This place is in the western part of Canada and is known for its massive prairies and farming industries. If you're into a more rural Canadian life, this is the place to go. They're big on resource extraction here too, with gas, oil, and potash being some of their main commodities. A big plus is that their cost of living is really low compared to the rest of Canada. And get this, they have the second highest median household income and the second lowest median home value at just $288,000. Talk about a bargain. Now their agricultural industry is strong as ever and their landscapes are simply breathtaking. 
but they do face some challenges, like healthcare access and keeping people in the province. And speaking of cold, it gets mighty chilly here with temperatures dropping to negative 40 Celsius sometimes. But hey, at least it's sunny most of the time, making it the sunniest province in Canada. Oh, and if you're into seeing the northern lights, Canada's the place to be, and Saskatchewan in particular, because of their clear skies. Now, Prince Albert, the third largest city in the province, is growing fast and its economy is on the rise. Number 3. Alberta Alberta has the second highest life satisfaction rate among all the provinces in Canada. It's located in the western part of the country and is known for its strong economy, mainly due to oil and gas, agriculture, and technology. Alberta has the best GDP per capita in the whole country thanks to all that oil and gas. Alberta has a high standard of living, abundant natural resources, and some amazing scenery. It's a must-visit place for anyone who loves being outdoors, from the towering peaks of the Rocky Mountains to the rolling prairies in the south. The economy is booming, and people here are pretty darn happy with their lives. Okay, so here's a confession. As someone who's been there, I have to admit that no trip to Alberta is complete without trying some of the local beef. Seriously, their beef is among the best in the world. You gotta try it. Number 2. British Columbia British Columbia, which is right on the west coast of Canada and famous for its breathtaking natural beauty. It's got beautiful green landscapes, stunning beaches, and impressive mountains everywhere you look. The weather is mild, with manageable snowfall during winters, making it a great place to live. The economy of British Columbia is diverse, but mainly dominated by service industries. They've got a lot of agriculture, forestry, and fishery going on, but they're also big in high-tech, mining, manufacturing, film, and TV, and tourism. It's a really interesting mix. Vancouver, the largest city in BC, is a gorgeous, bustling place with mountains in the background and the Pacific Ocean in front. It's like a little slice of paradise. This city is a real metropolitan hub, with tons of job opportunities and people from all different backgrounds. It's got a fast pace, but it's also really welcoming and multicultural. Victoria is another great city in BC. It's smaller than Vancouver, but it's just as charming. They've got some of the mildest climates in the whole country, which makes it perfect for outdoor enthusiasts. It's got a slower pace and an older, more historic feel to it. If you're looking for a place to live where you can really enjoy nature, Victoria should be at the top of your list. The tech scene in Vancouver is pretty impressive, and the province has major sectors like forestry, mining, and technology that are really important to the economy. The education, public services, and transportation systems are all really well-funded, and there are some great international schools and private colleges in the area. But with all that comes a pretty high cost of living, and taxes are high too. One of the downsides of living in BC is the super expensive real estate. The median home value is over $891,000, which is actually the highest in the entire nation. Wowzers! I've been looking at real estate in Vancouver, and I've seen homes going for as much as $1 million US dollars. That's insane. All in all, British Columbia has it all. Stunning coastal scenery, diverse cities, and tons of outdoor opportunities. It should have been our number one choice. But the high cost of living, expensive real estate, and income inequality keep it from being it. Number 1. Ontario You probably guessed right, often referred to as the Heartland Province due to its central location within Canada. It's the second largest province in the country, with a big variety of landscapes, like the Great Lakes, Boreal Forests, the Niagara Escarpment, and the Canadian Shield. Ontario is home to some really cool cities, like Toronto, Ottawa, and Hamilton, and also has some awesome natural wonders, like the shores of four Great Lakes, the Niagara Falls area, Algonquin Provincial Park, the historic Rideau Canal, and the charming towns in Prince Edward County. It's got about 14 million people, making it the most populous province in Canada. The capital city is Toronto, which is the biggest city in the country and the provincial capital too. Even though it's huge, it's surprisingly clean and safe, and it's the most multicultural city in the world. 
A lot of people want to move to Ontario. About half of all the immigrants who came to Canada in 2021 chose to live there. It's got a diverse economy with strong sectors in manufacturing, finance, and technology. Ontario's economy is huge. It accounts for almost half of Canada's GDP, which means there are lots of jobs. The median household income is about $103,000, which is the third highest in the country. The jobs aren't just in Toronto, though. Ottawa is another great city with even higher salaries, and it's way cheaper to live there. Plus, it's the capital of Canada. Traffic can be pretty bad in Ontario, especially in big cities like Toronto. They also have environmental concerns about pollution and climate change. But hey, the standard of living is really high, so it's not the best place if you're looking to raise a family on a budget. Hey, that's all right for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks for taking the time to watch. See you in the next one.